So now let's do some more problems where we graph logs in HK form. So to start with, let's graph y is equal to 5 plus log base 3 of x minus 2. So there's lots of different ways to do this problem. The very first step that I do is I graph the function, but I take away h and k. So I'm going to graph log 3 of x. And graphing's not really the right term, because really I don't need to graph it, I just need to sketch it. So I'm just going to sketch this. I'm paying attention to the general shape and to the asymptote. So this is roughly going to look uh, thusly. This point right here is going to be 1, 0. And you're going to have an asymptote at x is equal to 0. And then it's going to approach it, as, but never quite reach it. So that's your basic y is equal to the third log of x. And your asymptote is x equals 0. Step 2 is now I'm going to hk it. And I'm going to find the new asymptote. So let's think about this. In this case, the 5 moves it up 5, and the 2 is going to move it right 2. Right? Now why up 5 and right 2? Well, the 5 is the k, and that moves it up and down. And the h moves it left and right. But the h, since it's inside the function, it changes signs. Since it's a negative 2, it's going to be positive. So you're going to move it left and right in a positive 2 direction. So now let's think about the asymptote. The asymptote starts here at x is equal to 0. If it starts here at x equals 0, if we move it up 5, it still is the line x equals 0. Right? When you move a vertical line up and down, it doesn't change. Now we're going to move it right to, so move it right to the new asymptote is going to be x is equal to a positive 2. I kind of know what the graph looks like now. It's going to look like this. It's just going to be up 5 and left 2. Um, depending on what you want to do next, you may need to plug in a number of points. So then you find and plot points would be your third step. So let's have this x, and this is y is equal to 5 plus log x minus 2. We're going to run out of space, so let's get some more space. So we want, we know what x and y is. Now, if x here starts at 1, 0, and you move it up 5, and right 2, let's think about what, how that point changes. The y was 0, but moves up 5, so the y now is 5. And the x was 1, it moves right 2, so that becomes a 3. So there's a new point on the graph, which is 3, 5. And you can find that without plugging any points in at all. And now we just need to figure out what other points to plug in. It's log base 3, so I, it'd be better if I could plug in a point where we could do it in our head. So if I get 3, so let's say that would be x is equal to 5. That's 5 minus 2 is log 3 of 3. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Let's plug in y is equal to 5 plus log base 3 of 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is 3, so that's log 3 of 3. Log 3 of 3 is simply 1, so that's 5 plus 1, which is 6. Then if I want to plug another point, I know that log 3 of 9 is 2, so let's choose 11. Choose 11, let's plug in 11, I get y is equal to 5 plus log base 3 of 11 minus 2. And that's 5 plus log base 3. 11 minus 2 is 9. Log base 3 of 9 is 2, so that's going to be a 7. And there I have my points. Now I can go ahead and plot it. Let's go ahead and plot 1 on a, on a nice graph. You have your x-axis and your y-axis. 
we had our new asymptote is x is equal to 2. Our points for x and y were 3, 5, 5, 6, and 11, 7. So that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's going to be right there. Then you had 5, 6, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 11, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right there. And there you get the general shape. Flattens out very quickly. And that's your graph of y is equal to 5 plus log 3x minus 2. Again, the 5 moved the initial graph up 5. The 2 moved it right to... The lo all logs where b is greater than 1 have the basically the same shape. All the 3 does is change, the, in a sense, how steep it is. Let's do one more quick problem. Let's graph y is equal to 4 minus log 7 x plus 3. Step one, I'm going to graph y is equal to minus log 7 of x. Really not graph it, I'm really going to sketch it again. Just get the general shape. The only difference here is this is 1, 0 again. But now since it's a negative, you're going to have the graph flip across the x-axis. The asymptote still is x is equal to 0. And this is the point 1, 0, but the difference is, is that it approaches it in this direction. Step 2 is I'm going to HK it, and I'm going to find the new asymptote. The old asymptote was x equals 0. If I move it up 4, it doesn't affect it. I'm going to move this left 3. So when you move it up 4, it doesn't change, but when you move it left 3, the new asymptote is x equals 3. I'm sorry, x is equal to minus 3. And let's see, step 3, I can go ahead and do a table, but to get a general shape, I might only need one point. The point starts out at 1, 0. You move up 4 and you move left 3. So the new point becomes, the y becomes a 4 and the 1 becomes a minus 2. So that's minus 2, 4. And that actually gives you a pretty good sense of what it looks like. And that's generally what your graph is. And that's how you graph logs in HK form.